hold this uh, sheet. pursuit of happiness. When I took over the Institute for Liberty for the last few years, IFL had been focused on fighting on what we call the petty tyrannies of government. And you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to tell you. They're the little things, right? The little mandates. The things that chip away at your choices, at your freedoms. What we call the petty tyrannies of government. Well, on January 20th, ladies and gentlemen, something radically changed, didn't it? Yeah. These tyrannies are petty no longer, aren't they? No. They've moved on. This is a wholesale abrogation of individual rights. What a great day, July 4th. 233 years of freedom we celebrate today. And why are we here today? Why are we here today? To keep the freedom train moving. Let me say this about the Tea Party movement. What's impressive and what's important and what I think the major media is trying to undermine, this is a legitimate movement of the people. We are here as Republicans, as Democrats, as Libertarians, as, as Conservatives, as anything, but we are united as Americans defending freedom. 
Now I said that the, de the uh, declaration, when, we, when you read the declaration, that there were really two lessons that we have to draw from it. I mentioned that the first is that our liberty is a liberty granted us by God. It is a connectivity between this great nation and God that can never be separated. If it is separated, it erodes and possibly demolishes the liberty we enjoy. So that's why I think when you look at liberty-loving Americans, you often find they're also God-believing Americans because those two things go hand in hand. On the issue of energy, we know that to compete in this global economy, we need access to reasonably priced energy. An administration that is refusing to drill for petroleum, that is refusing to develop nuclear energy, that is refusing to develop natural gas, and now is taxing those who use the energy that they dictate, cannot long compete in the global environment. That's an issue. Maybe one of the most outrageous acts you know, we don't stand here as Americans, say, accusing this president of not being constitutionally eligible for the office he holds. But let me ask the question, why are hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent in defense of protective and privacy motions in federal courts around this nation to keep from the American people the documents related to his place of birth? Mr. Obama, release those documents! Release those documents! That issue, and we afford him every benefit of the doubt, as we would afford any American. Those documents need to be released to the American people. The game is up. Mr. Obama, release the documents. Put this issue to rest. All of us have watched as the brave Iranian people have stood against this dictator in Tehran. We stand with those people, not with this tyrannical government. And at a moment when this government and this country face a real significant serious threat in the deployment and in the development and deployment of nuclear weapons in Pyongyang, in Tehran, this administration is cutting missile defense. Now is the time to increase the defense of this nation, not to reduce it. Our opponents will seek to divide this movement. They will seek to belittle this movement. They will seek to minimize and marginalize and discredit it. It's going to happen. As it happens, we need to realize that is the sign of our potency and of our effectiveness. We stand together in support of liberty and support of freedom. Not as Democrats, not as Republicans. We stand as Americans. And we, Mr. Obama, Congress of the United States, we will win this battle. Thank you. through tea bags. It's like getting two bags of flavor in one. Look inside. Two bags of flavor in one.